A few days after U.S. President Joe Biden described the military response in the Gaza Strip as, quote, over the top, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu appeared on ABC's This Week show and reminded the world about the Hamas terrorist attack that killed 1,200 people and turned 240 into hostages. Uh, we were attacked, unprovoked attack, murderous attack on October 7th, the worst attack on Jewish people since the Holocaust. And let me tell you, uh, I think we've responded uh, in a way that goes after the terrorists and tries to minimize the civilian population in which the terrorists embed themselves and use them as human shields. More than 28,000 Palestinians, many of them women and children, have been killed in the war, according to the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry. Netanyahu dismissed those figures, adding that while a plan is in the works to get civilians out of harm's way, his military will go ahead with a ground operation in Rafah. More than 1.4 million Palestinians, many of them displaced Gazans, are sheltering in the border town. The United Kingdom, Egypt and Saudi Arabia have voiced concerns. Those who say that under no circumstances should we enter Rafah are basically saying, lose the war, keep Hamas there. And Hamas has promised to do the October 7th massacre over and over and over again. Entire families live in tents in Rafah and say they have nowhere else to go. If there will be more displacement, I'm not moving. I'm on the Egyptian border from one side and east of Rafah from the other side. I can't move. In Tel Aviv, meanwhile, protesters demanding the release of hostages still in Hamas hands blocked the Ayalon Highway on Saturday. We are here today to tell everybody that we're so fed up with what's going on and we know the people are with us, but we don't feel the government is, and it's about time. Netanyahu was asked on ABC whether he knows how many of the roughly 132 hostages in captivity are still alive. I think uh, enough to warrant the kind of efforts that we're doing, uh, and we're, we're going to try to do our best to get all those who are alive back, and frankly also the bodies of the dead. In his assessment, the military pressure applied to Hamas was a key factor in securing the recent release of 110 hostages and affirmed that, quote, victory is within reach. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News.